Good afternoon, everyone, and a warm welcome here to Hayes Lane for Bromley against Woking. It was a disappointing defeat for Woking on Good Friday at home to Eastley. Eastley did a very, very good job on nullifying a Woking sider on a six match on beaten run at home. It's a tough away task, though, here for Woking. So, a free kick for Bromley to take. Lifted it into the box, headed towards goal, and it's a tame header down into the ground. In. He's towards the back post area. Arthurs raises his left arm. Arthurs whips the free kick in. Very, very heavy one. Will it be kept in play from Bromley? Here's a nice flick there from Reynolds. Cross in from the left-hand side. And it comes off cheek and just wide. Delivery from Odateo. And deflected off the right leg of cheek. Couldn't react quick enough. That was a lovely delivery from Odateo. As I said, cheek, it came to him quickly. Just came off his right leg. And thankfully, from a working perspective, that trickled out for a goal kick. But certainly... Warning signs there. This second corner kick for Woking. Can be taken, drilled in from Edwards. Flicked up into the end, away from Cheek, out the box. It now controls it from Wilson. Turns, takes a shot, and it's an easy save there for Thomas. That was an off target, but Thomas wouldn't take any chances. Another half chance for Woking, but yeah, Wilkinson's effort, pretty tame. Runs onto his own header and then flicks it back in the centre circle to Webster. Bit of time on the ball there for Bromley. Now Woking looking to press through Luca, but Bromley. Go through the press now, played from Arthurs into the feet of Cheek in the middle. Now Cheek looks to slip it through. And now is that a foul there from Wilkinson? And the referee has awarded a free kick on the edge of the box. And it was a foul there from Wilkinson. I think that was on Corey Whiteley. So I thought Charles's body shape's a little bit more diagonal. So Woking get their wall set. It's a free kick from extremely close range here for Bromley. Inside right, it will be Charles to take. Up and over the wall, not too far away from the target there. From Charles, a, a decent effort. Whipped it over the wall. Just wide of Jaskalainen's left post. So, Woking. So there was a good moment for Woking inside the box. Uh, Corbeau was teed up, but completely uh, missed the ball with his right foot, and Bromley managed to clear. So it's Bromley nil, Woking nil. Yasko Island's free kick, flip backwards there. Cuthbert, that's Corbeau calling for it. Looks for Kendall, instead inside left, beaten to it from Whiteley. Now forwards to Corbeau, trying to come away with the ball. Now Kendall, weaves in between two Bromley players. Kendall, left side of the box, cuts in on his right foot. Kendall shot, blocked from Webster. Corner kick here for Woken. Really good, quick feet there from Charlie Kendall. The uh, towards the face of Kurt, it's uh, the yellow cards. A throw for Bromley on halfway on the right side. Kurt takes it, header one for Cuthbert. Volley through the middle from Kelly Evans. Header towards centre circle by Webster. Is that foul there from Moss? Nothing given against Woken. It hit through the middle from Kelly Evans. Controlling the bounce of the chest of Corbeau. Squares it to Perko. Woken the attacking third. Perko chicks in the cross towards the right side. Control there from Moss. Inside the penalty. Looks hit across the face of goal. And Corbeau is in the net. And he's onside. And Woking lead by a goal to nil. Late on in this first half. With two minutes left. The away fans go wild on the far side. A brilliant switch from left to right. Dan Moss controlled the ball inside the area, played it across to Gilboa, and he kneed it home into the bottom corner. It's Bromley nil, Woking one, and Ricky Corboa with the finish. Such sharp instinct inside the box. Looks like it bounced him a little bit awkwardly, but just managed to stretch himself towards the ball and knead it into the back of the net. And Woken have held firm this half. I haven't really created too many clear cut chances, but you keep yourself in the game. They just need to create that one moment. And Ricky Corboa has taken it. So Bromley certainly looked rocked by that. Play it forwards. In fact, actually, I thought Thomas was going to play it forwards quickly, but instead kicks it through the middle. Can't find cheek, but here's Davis. Close to the area. Picks up Davis now. Inside the box. Davis is shot over the bar. And it's a snapshot there from Will Davis. We've seen the Woking midfield now finds Vennings in the centre circle. Vennings plays it square. Here's Kirk, short forward pass and Takedo Taylor-Hart can't take on the stretch, but Cuthbert with the heavy touch. Bromley back on the front foot. Falls into Takedo Taylor-Hart inside the air as a challenge from behind. And the referee gives a free kick to Bromley. They may think it was inside the area. It was a foul on Kido Taylor-Hart by Dion Kelly Evans. And Bromley, yeah, I think they were appealing for a penalty. I thought initially, was it just inside the box? But so it'll be Charles Odotero to take this. 
So right behind the area. Bromley ready to take the free kick. Could this be the equaliser for the home side. So it'll be Odoteo or Charles to step up. It's Charles takes it over the wall and that is over the bar. Again, a really tough position to get that up and over the wall. And well over in the end, the relief of the Woking fans on the... Edwards, right arm raised. Drills it in with the laces of his right foot towards the back post. Can't find Pavey, comes off a Bromley man, still inside the box, lifted up into the air from Wilkson. Bromley headed away now, headed down into the ground and it's been blocked there from Reynolds and cleared to safety and now Bromley's goalkeeper, Lewis Thomas, is down on the ground there. Can't quite see who headed that down to the ground towards goal, but Dorkin by way of equaliser, older shot. They're trying to keep their faint. Survival hopes alive, fellow sorry team. Diagonal free kick from Thomas headed away from Kelly Evans. Now Woken down left hand side. Kendall cuts in. Kendall now looks to play it through to Luca. Luca heads to the box. Jane Luca onto his left foot. Jane Luca shots a team one. Good chance there for Jane Luca on the counter attack. And just scuffed his effort in the end. Jane Luca short from Bromley Oloteo. Gives it to Whiteley. Midway inside his own half. Infield to Venning. He needs to get out of his feet quickly now. Venning just has a bit of room. Clips it over halfway, a control in the chest of Burko. It's the frustration of the Bromley crowd. Burko down the left flank. Burko now a bit of room. Burko into the feet of Luca. Luca protects the ball inside the box, lays it back off to Burko. Burko on the stretch to Kendall. What a save there from Lewis Thomas down to his left hand side. Really good snap effort there by Charlie Kendall. And fingertip behind for a corner kick by Lewis Thomas. And now Woken. Oh, look at the more likely is to get that second goal this match. Looking for that diagonal pass. Just waiting for the referee's whistle. It's blown out. Odateo, a long diagonal ball towards the area. Headed away from Kelly Evans. Only as far as Webster in the middle. And now passes the feet of Cheek. Cheek to be close. What a save from Jaskalainen. Big, big chance there for Michael Cheek. And cleared for a throw from Dan Moss. How has Michael Cheek not scored there? Golden opportunity for Bromley, their best of the half. For that free kick, it fell into the path of Michael Cheek, just the man they wanted it to fall to. Hit it right-footed, but denied by Jaskolainen. All over the pitch as well, when they needed to press Woking, they have pressed, they've created some good chances in the last stage of the second half. Jaskolainen's goal kick finds Moss in the centre. Moss, dispossession, Vennings. Now here come Bromley, through the centre. Here's Vennings. Vennings now plays it across the face of Dion Kelly Evans. Charles now looks to play it through to Cheek. Cheek throws the ball and a chance ever. Bromley will save from Jaskalainen. Big chance of Kido Taylor Hart. And Jaskalainen outstanding once again. And Bromley in the last minute of normal time. Kido Taylor Hart, golden chance for him. And he couldn't beat the Ascaline out in the near post. Kendall, so Woken have three minutes to hang on to in the stoppage time. 30 seconds into it. Odato gets his foot stuck on the ball, slipped there, but manages to retrieve his foot and now plays it over halfway for Davis to chase down the left hand side. Davis has the pace on to lap. To lap gets across though and clears it away for a throw. Almost hit a spectator. Gone. Two to go at Hayes Lane. Bromley nil, Woking one. Long throw in. Head across the face of the box. A shot towards goal to Taylor Hart. Heartbreak for Woking. Kido Taylor Hart. First minute of stoppage time. A scuff finish, but he won't mind on the volley with his right foot trickled into the bottom corner. And Bromley have drawn level in stoppage time. Woking have fought so hard, but that is why Bromley are one of the National League's top outfits. They've done it against the Surrey side again this season. Coming, Taylor Hart, she had a, a shot saved. It's a minute four, he scored his equaliser. And that is the final whistle there. The victory was not meant to be for Woking, but it's still a good point on the road against the top three National League side for Michael Dawes, Michael Dawes uh, men. And Ricky Gorboa opened a scoring for Woking the last minute of normal time in the first half. Cross and Dan Moss, first time of asking a cross face six-yard box and need it into the back of net. Woken managed the, uh, most of the second half really well. Had some good chances himself. Uh, Charlie Kendall forced Lewis Thomas into a sharp save. Jane Luca had a shot straight at the keeper. Again, uh, Bromley being very limited. but.